Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Let's see what your person is feeling and thinking and what you can expect. All right, so we have heart to get rejection, not settling for less. I don't know if this is you playing hard to get, or maybe your person feels like they're playing hard to get because you're not talking. Somebody who ghosted you and wants to apologize or someone who disappeared, they didn't give any closure. It says, I'm sorry, it's my fault. What can I do to make it right? But I feel like you're pushing this person away. Either this happened already or this is someone that's coming in. This is someone that walked away or um, they withdrew their energy in some sort of way here. I don't know if you guys had an argument or this person just disappeared for no reason. All right. Yeah, we have separation. Speaking up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I had to walk away to find what I deserve. And then we have finding the courage to express what's in their heart. messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they need to know? What can they expect? What is the person feeling and thinking? Give me one second. This card's just fall on the floor. All right. So we have confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. And we have unexpected events. Expect the unexpected. Something you don't see coming is soon to change. A door that was closed will now open. All right. So this may be if someone who walked away from you, who said they didn't want a relationship, they didn't want a connection. And now here they come. It could be because you were like, okay, fine, cool. <laughs> like, I'm just going to, you know, go in another direction. I'm going to move on. And now here they come. Here, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Yep, look at that. I want to fix our connection, and we have unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. My future. This is somebody who's extremely arrogant, and I also feel like this person may have a family or they have a baby mom that they still deal with. Take it how it resonates, Capricorn. Um, but this person can be very arrogant sometimes. And I feel like when they don't get their way with you, they like to pull away and cause confusion just to see if it'll bother you or if it'll make you react. This may also be someone who wants to um, stick around. You may wind up having a future with this person for some reason. I see my future in your eyes. You feel like home. This may be someone who's not ready to settle down right now and who may look at you as someone that one day they will marry or they will settle down with and have a relationship. We have only choice. They will choose to be or stay with you because no one else will compare. Yeah, okay. So basically what it is is that this person may be out there trying to see if the grass is green or on the other side and they're realizing that it's not. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? So we have changing them. Trying to change someone never works. Accept them as they are or move on. We have new heights. Your love life is about to ascend to new levels. Some of you are giving somebody the cold shoulder, but you're like, you deserve it because you pulled away from me. I didn't pull away from you. You're like, so if you want me, then you have to come back towards me. Some of you refuse to reach out to this person. We also have gossip. Someone is speaking about you and its influence in their decision. So it could be someone that know you that's talking to this person, maybe telling them to reach out to you. Or this may be someone who's heard of you and they don't know anything, um, you know, they don't know you personally, but this person could be talking to you. This person could be talking to them about you. So someone's gossiping about you and it's influencing their decision to want to come back your direction. They may be telling someone who you were and how you treated them when you guys were together. I feel like some of you did not um, separate from your person, but you're just not talking right now. And they may be telling someone what you guys are going through. 
And they may be saying, okay, y'all can work that out. That's not that big of a deal. Spirit witnesses, you have for Capricorns. We have extra effort going out of their way to fix the situation, you know, bridging the gap. Expect to hear from this person, or maybe you've already heard from this person and you possibly ignore them. But we have case of the X. Your intuition is off. Your judgment is clouded. Take a step back before you make any major decisions. So the universe is saying before you make any major decisions with this X, take a step back and think about the situation. But this is somebody who knows that they can't replace you. They've tried. I feel like they've tried. The way you love can never be matched. And then we have can't move on. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. Let's get one more. Give me one more for Capricorn. We have reunion. We will always come back to each other. So this is what this person is feeling and thinking. Like no matter what y'all go through, y'all will always come back to each other because no one treats them the way you do. So this is someone here who can't seem to move on from you. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. They think about the situation, possibly how they treated you. And we also have fresh start and I love you. Some of you may have blocked whoever this is and you're trying to hold, hold back from them. You're trying not to talk to this person. But this is someone who wants you to know that they still love you. And that they want this fresh start, but I don't feel like you trust this situation. Okay. So, let's get some tarot. Get this quick energy check-in, Capricorn. And let's see what else the universe wants you to know. We have Justice Reverse, Libra Energy. Knight of Swords, King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, possibly a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius that wants to talk. But the only thing about this person... I feel like this King of Swords don't know how to talk to you because the Knight of Swords is here with this person. So even though they know they haven't been fair to you, they've been dishonest, they've done some things to cause you guys to have these issues and problems. Whenever they want to come in and have a conversation, I feel like it always turns into an argument with this Knight of Swords because this person comes in very aggressive. Yep, but they're feeling some type of way. They know they got to come out of their ego to talk to you to end this conflict. This could be a fire sign as well, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, so far we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. The Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, Reverse, and the Ten of Wands. They feel some type of way about whatever you guys are going through, but they don't want you to know that they feel some type of way. They're just trying to deal with it. But with this Five of Swords, they know that they can't come towards you with a, with a nasty attitude. They have to compromise. They do want a resolution, though, because whenever the Five of Swords is reversed, this is someone who wants to resolve the situation. But I feel like they don't know conflict resolution because the Five of Wands is right here. So this person feels like, okay, we had this conflict. I want to come out of it. But... They're not, this is somebody who's possibly not used to taking accountability or apologizing. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Yeah, the Nine of Wands. And you're holding back. You're being very, you're standing your ground. Standing on business, being very clear. So we have Aquarius energy here, the star. The universe is saying there's still hope for this situation. If you want it. This is also healing energy. So someone that you feel. That there is no way you can heal the situation with. The universe is saying it is. With the star card coming out here. But this person have to be willing. To fix the situation. First apologize. Apologize for what they did. And be willing to uh, take accountability for what they did. And fix the situation. We have the two of wands. Mm -hmm. Someone may be thinking like, okay, if I don't hurry up and make this decision and make this move, Capricorn is going to walk away for good. 
like for good like there will be no reaching out to you getting you back once you're in this six of swords energy so we do have the knight of cups here we do have someone coming in offering love but there's something about their energy because if you look at this horse like the head is down so either they're embarrassed they're ashamed or they know that uh the conversation is going to get kind of crazy for them especially when you start pointing out things that they've done and asking why and wanting an explanation i feel like this person may not want to explain something it's like this is somebody who wants to come in and still show you love and and sort of like pick up where you guys left off but it's something about the situation where i feel like you want answers you're like no there is no picking up where we left off all right, we're going to discuss some things. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You may have cut this person off. And they know the only way to get you back, Capricorn, is to... Um, this could be another Capricorn, but the King of Pentacles back here. They know the only way to get you back is to come clean and to tell you what you want to know with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So we do have the Six of Wands here. There's something about this person where they, they may have a lot of followers on social media or people look up to them or they're not used to um, being vulnerable and being emotional. Like, there's something about the energy here because they know they stabbed you in the back. If you ended the situation with this person, they know it's their fault because the hangman is here and they're trying to figure out, you know, should I continue this delay or should I just come in? Because the Knight of Cups is here. The Knight of Cups is movement. So they're like, should I just come? It's just like they don't know what they're facing, though. You know, the Knight of Cups is either coming out of battle or going into battle. And I feel like this person is looking at the situation like they want to come toward you, but they don't know what battles they're facing. Going into this, they feel like they're going into war with Somebody feels like they're going into war with you. Spirit message. Yep. Somebody, somebody feels like they're going to the war. They're like, okay, I know. I know once we start talking that it's going to get crazy because I'm going to have to. It's something like they're going to have to. Um, they can't BS you, period. Like they got to come clean with something with the Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords. And I feel like this person's already thinking about it. We have the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess. There's a water sign um, that's thinking about you, that wants a new beginning, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It's like they're trying to trust their intuition. Like, should I just go ahead and just speak up and just say what I need to say? Because we do have the lovers here. So for some of you, this is a Gemini or this is someone who sees you um, as someone that, uh, you know, as a partnership, someone that they really love. I feel like when things are good, they're great. But when things get bad between the two of you, I'm sort of picking up the energy where um, it's hard to make up with this person for some reason. Once you guys fall out. All right, let's get one more. Well, we do have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody has anxiety about, um, yep, this person was being sneaky. No wonder they have anxiety about talking to you. They're still wanting to hang on. They wanted a new beginning. We have Leo energy, Aries energy here. They know they haven't been making you happy. But yet they still want to hang on to you with the Four of Pentacles. They don't see it as being over. I feel like this is someone who's like dreading having this talk with you or dreading coming back towards you because they've been being sneaky see this seven of swords behind them clearly indicates this person's been thinking about everything that they've done and now because you've either ended this or pushed them away they know they have to come clean and it's eating them up with the nine of swords they fear it but they're like, okay, let me just go into battle. <laughs> let me just go into battle with Capricorn and get this dealt with. 
We have the Ace of Wands here and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, because they see, oh, they had a wake. Okay, so this person's either having a wake up call or they had a wake up call about you. With the Five of Cups, they have a lot of regret here and they know letting you go is not good because you're the Nine of Pentacles. So you don't need them. You're secure. You're independent. And you've achieved a lot of success in your life in some type of way. This is how they see you. So they know that you bring abundance and prosperity and good energy into their life. So them letting you go and letting you go and be with somebody else at that. No, they don't feel like that's a good idea <laughs> at all. And I feel like this may be someone who's you know, finally realizing this, or they will realize this, if you don't take them back, if you decide to keep going in a different direction. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Capricorns. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.